Ready for a fusion frenzy? Today, we're delving deep into the world of nuclear fusion and trust me, it's going to be out of this world. But first, a quick mission briefing. If you're as passionate about cutting edge science and mind bending technology as we are, hit that subscribe button now. By joining Singularity Vault, you're joining a community of fellow explorers on a quest for knowledge and innovation. And why not give this video a thumbs up and share it with your fellow fusion enthusiasts while you're at it? The more, the merrier. So buckle up, fusion fans, because we're about to embark on an epic journey through the realms of quasi-isodynamic stellarators and beyond. Let's light the fusion fires and make some scientific magic happen. Ever wondered what powers the universe? Hint, it's not coffee. Welcome to the fascinating world of nuclear fusion, the process that lights up the stars and promises to power our future. In the mid-20th century, our brave scientists ventured into uncharted territory, wrestling with complex equations to unlock the secrets of the stars. Fusion, they discovered, was like a high-stakes game of poker, where the reward was a jackpot of virtually limitless energy. But as the skeptics love to say, fusion is the energy of the future, and always will be. Well, let's see about that. The 1980s brought a quantum leap in computing power, and with it, the ability to tame the wild magnetic fields necessary for stellarators. These machines, named after the stars they emulate, were as complex and beautiful as the celestial bodies themselves. Yet, like a stubborn Rubik's Cube, they remained a puzzle that only a few could solve. Fast forward to the present day and we find ourselves at the threshold of an exciting era. Proxima Fusion, a German startup, stands poised to crack the fusion code. Armed with 20 million euros, a battalion of brain power and the spirit of innovation, they're revving up to take us on a thrilling ride into the future. Their secret weapon? The quasi-isodynamic Stellarator, a name that rolls off the tongue as smoothly as a roller coaster ride. But don't let the tongue twister fool you. This device could be the game changer we've been waiting for. It's Fusion's answer to the Rubik's Cube, a labyrinth of magnetic fields and plasma pathways that only the brightest minds and cutting edge AI algorithms dare to navigate. And let's not forget the granddaddy of them all, the Wendelstein 7X Stellarator. This mammoth machine has been making waves and plasma in Greifswald, Germany, laying the groundwork for Proxima Fusion's audacious pursuits. So, after decades of head scratching and number crunching, here we are standing at the forefront of fusion technology. With a future powered by fusion, we could say goodbye to fossil fuels and hello to a cleaner, greener world. So buckle up and get ready for the ride of a lifetime as we dive headfirst into the fusion frenzy. Let's talk Stellarators. No, it's not a new intergalactic travel agency, but it's just as cool. Our story begins with a Stellarator, a device that's as fascinating as its name suggests. Picture this, a veritable circus of magnetic fields and plasma spinning and twisting in a carefully orchestrated dance. It's a bit like trying to tame a wild stallion if that stallion was made of superheated plasma and could potentially power entire cities. The Stellarator is a heavyweight champion in the fusion arena and it's got the brains to match its brawn. It's the result of countless hours of research, number crunching, and probably a few too many caffeine fueled late nights. But all that hard work paid off and the Stellarator was born, ready to take on the fusion world. The star of the Stellarator show is the Wendelstein 7X, a machine so complex it makes the traditional fission reactors look like children's toys. And no, despite its rather sci-fi sounding name, it's not a droid from Star Wars. It's an impressive feat of engineering that's been turning heads. And plasma, in Greifswald, Germany, the Wendelstein 7X is the original game changer, the trendsetter, the one that all the other Stellarators aspire to be. It's been paving the way in fusion research, proving that with a bit of brain power and a whole lot of magnetic fields, we can harness the power of the stars right here on Earth. But the Wendelstein 7X isn't just a pretty face. It's got a serious mission to bring us one step closer to a world powered by clean, limitless energy. And if that doesn't sound like a superhero's job, I don't know what does. But hold on to your hats, folks because the fusion frenzy is just getting started. Imagine the fusion world as a high-stakes poker game. Proxima Fusion just went all in. Enter Proxima Fusion, 
a German startup that's putting its chips on the table with a 20 million euro bet and a dream of a fusion future. They're not playing with a regular deck though, their hand, a quasi-isodynamic stellarator, a term that's a real tongue twister and an even bigger game changer. But what in the world is a quasi-isodynamic stellarator, you may ask? Well, imagine a fusion-powered Rubik's Cube, a mind-boggling matrix of magnetic fields and plasma pathways. Instead of frustrated kids, you've got some of the brightest minds, armed with AI algorithms, scrambling to solve this ultimate fusion puzzle. And here I was thinking that quasi-isodynamic was just a fancy word to impress at dinner parties. But this isn't just a party trick. This Stellarator has some serious potential to shake things up in the fusion scene. Using a complex system of twisted and curved magnetic coils, the reactor confines the superheated plasma, reaching temperatures in the range of hundreds of millions of degrees Celsius. Within this seething mass of ions and electrons, hydrogen isotopes collide and fuse, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of high-speed neutrons and charged particles. The vision? A world where limitless, clean energy is as easy as flipping a switch. No more fossil fuels, no more greenhouse gases, just pure, fusion-powered bliss. A dream that makes even the most hardened skeptics stop and think, maybe fusion isn't always 30 years in the future. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Proxima Fusion has a long journey ahead, filled with complex equations, powerful computers, and probably a fair few cups of strong German coffee. But with their quasi-isodynamic stellarator, they've got a promising hand to play in the fusion poker game. So, while we may not be flipping that fusion switch just yet, Proxima Fusion is definitely putting the power back in power play. And who knows, they might just have the ace up their sleeve that Fusion's been waiting for. So Proxima Fusion's stellarator might just be the ace up Fusion sleeve we've been waiting for. Fusion isn't just about powering our toasters and TVs. It's about a future where clean, limitless energy is as common as cat videos on the internet. Picture a world where flipping a switch means tapping into the same energy that fuels the sun. No more fossil fuels, no more greenhouse gases, just pure fusion-powered bliss. So, while we wait for ITER to be done in the year 3120, Proxima Fusion, armed with their quasi-isodynamic stellarator and a whole lot of brain and machine power, might just beat them to the punch. And hey, who knows, we might even stumble upon the secrets of the universe along the way. Thanks for joining us on this electrifying fusion adventure. We hope you enjoyed diving into the fascinating world of quasi-isodynamic stellarators and the promise they hold for the future of clean energy. If you've got thoughts, questions or insights to share, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Your engagement keeps the conversation going and fuels our mission to explore the frontiers of science and technology. And hey, if you found this video as mind-blowing as we did, why not spread the knowledge? Share it with your friends, family and fellow science enthusiasts. It's like igniting a chain reaction of curiosity. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay tuned for more captivating content from Singularity Vault. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating and keep reaching for the stars.